Hey guys, today is the official launch of Notion Charts. I've had this for a few weeks now and I wanted to show you guys how it works, what it could be used for, and just some overall updates with Notion. So make sure to tune in for more updates. But before I forget, I am hosting a free Notion workshop on August 28th, 2024. If you're watching this before then, you can sign up below. It's a free workshop. Also, if you're watching after, I will have the replay available for you as well. We're gonna be talking about the new database automations as well as the new Notion chart so you guys can walk through it with me. I'm super excited for this workshop. I'm really gonna dig into um, both of those two topics in the next couple of weeks so that I'll be ready for that workshop. But today we're gonna to be talking about specifically the brand new launch of Notion charts. It just launched today. So what is Notion Charts? Notion Charts is a uh, tool that allows you to turn database items and page items into charts. So Notion Charts is a brand new view of your Notion database. This is a thing that has been rolling out to ambassadors for the past couple of weeks, and it now is live for everyone. One thing to note before I get started, this is a really important point. Notion Charts is, as of now, part of the plus plan. So you do need to be on a paying plan of Notion to use Notion charts. A lot of people may be upset by this. However, at this point, Notion obviously needs to monetize in some ways as a business. And so for them, this is a premium feature. That's just, yeah, that's just something that I wanted to share before you get started. So the plus plan is $10 a month if you pay annually and $12 a month if you pay month to month. So this is featured inside of that. So just wanted to let you guys know, Notion itself is still free, but if you want some of the bonus things, some other things that are included in the plus plan include unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads, 30 day page history, invite hundred guests, sync databases with third party apps, custom websites, custom automations, charts and dashboards, which is now live. So I wanted to talk with you guys about what charts is and kind of how to use it. I will be doing some future videos on ways to use charts because honestly, I haven't found a lot of things yet for myself to use it with. There's been a few that I found, but I honestly just haven't had a lot of time lately and I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. But I wanted to show you guys the basics of how to use it so that you know how to use Notion charts as it goes live today. Okay, so this is a way to make a Notion chart. I'm using my books database as an example. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up and create a new view. You can see if you have the plus plan, you will now have charts. So you can select charts. What it's going to do is it's going to ask you to link the database. So I'm going to link books, which is the one that you're seeing right now. You can add all obviously multiple different databases within one area, but this is just the easiest way that I'm going to show you. So as you can see right now, it's in the vertical bar format. I can also put it in horizontal bar. I can put it in line bar as well as in the donut bar. So that's kind of like a pie chart. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to pick a random X and Y axis, probably based off of things that have numbers or something, and it will allow you to choose what you want. So for now, right now it's picking which platform the book is on. So for example, I have like library books, etc. You see, I have 96 that are no platform. That means that I haven't selected an option. So I have to go back. So if I go to something that doesn't have a platform, so let's just say this one, I'm pretty sure this was a library book. So now if I go back to that chart, you'll see instead of 96, it'll be 95 because I changed the status and now I have one more up in the library book. So everything that you do in all the other databases automatically gets added here. So that is the easiest way to make a chart. So let's go back to chart. So you can see here, there's options to sort by count high to low. You can do it just by platform ascending and that's by name. You can do manual, low to high, however you want to sort it. There's a couple different options. You can also choose ones that you don't want to be visible. Some other options is if you, if you have a lot more numbers, you can omit zero values, which that's not true for this one. Then on the y-axis, you can choose, count is like a pretty popular one just because a lot of charts use numbers, but you could do the number on, you could use the sum. You can select whatever x, y. So let's just say like I want tag and knowledge vault. So I could see how many I have of each and it's going to put a number to it. That's just how charts work is it's usually a number based. But for me, I'm just gonna do count. So some other things you can do is you can change the colors. You can see there's different color patterns. I like the colorful one. Um, it's just kind of nice to have, but you, if you wanted to, um, you could have you know specific colors. Some other style options to note, you can change the height so you can go larger or smaller. A lot of this is for if you're going to be downloading this to something, which I'll show you guys in a second. 
grid lines, you can add uh, the behind the scenes with grids. So you can add, you can see here, there's a little bit of more grids. It kind of helps you see it a little bit more. You can also add names and labels for the X and Y axis. So you can add both or just one or the other. So that's very helpful. The reason that you're, and you can also choose to have the data labels on and off. The reason that you're doing this is there's options to save your chart. So if you go to save chart as, you can see you can either copy it as a PNG, download as a PNG, or download as an SVG, and you can also change the background. So that's very helpful if you're using this in like a presentation or at work, you can literally show uh, trends. So one thing that I think this would be great for is if you're tracking money, maybe how much money you made that day, or you're tracking your steps, or you're tracking how much weight you've lost. There's so many ways that you can use charts to visually show things. One thing I wanted to see for my own YouTube content is I track to see how many views each video has gotten. And for me, you can see um, some of them I haven't added yet, but you can see that I have like, you know, seven videos between 20 and 100,000 views. I have um, five between 10 and 20,000. So I can see visually, okay, you know, I have a lot between 200 and 500. Which ones of these did really well? What should I do follow-ups on? What should I do more like these? Why did they get so many views? So it's easy for me to quickly see visually, okay, I need to work more on videos to get 20 to 100,000 views. Um, and, you know, so it's just, it's helpful for me to kind of see that um, visually. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use Notion charts. So let's go back to share some examples of other ways that you can sort. So if right now we are in this, I'm going to go back to this version. So right now the X axis is platforms, but what if I wanted to choose topic? So these are all the different topics that I've read books on. You can see, I have some patterns here. I read a lot of books about productivity time. I have some fiction and then I have business entrepreneurship and then some on writing and copywriting and storytelling. So for me, it's like, okay, I've read a lot of books on those topics, but I haven't read a lot of books on other topics. I should read more about those. Again, it's visually showing you what, you know, what things, what trends you're seeing, uh, which is very helpful. So there's a lot of different ways to use this. You can quickly change and group by different things. So if I wanted to group by platform, that would be interesting too. So you can see that you can even like stack them on top of each other. So that's helpful. So I could see, okay, so I have 33 books about fiction and a lot of them are library books. You can group it. And this is just for the Y axis to group. So it's just, again, it's, it, and then if I wanted to see this, it's kind of hard to see. There's so many different things I would want to go and I would make it bigger so I can make it extra large so I can see clearly what's going on. So that's very interesting to me. This is a very powerful tool, especially if you have a lot of data points in your databases. I think this is going to be very, very helpful to a lot of people people who are very visual like myself, a lot of ADHDers, um, a lot of visual learners. So this is a really, really, really helpful tool. The reason why I think this will be helpful, especially for like ADHDers and certain people is that it's very visual. If you're a visual learner like I am, I think charts are going to be so helpful for you to see trends, patterns, uh, just different statistics. Now, as of now, there are some limits to charts. I don't see like actual, um, information about each item, which I mean, of course, that's kind of how charts work. Um, but I think in the future, there'll be some updates. But as of now, I mean, it works really, really well for what it's used for. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe for more Notion content. Make sure to join my Facebook group, uh, Notion for ADHD Entrepreneurs, as well as check out all my resources below. I've got Notion Foundations All Access, my course, which is all about Notion. I have some updates coming to that very soon. Um, we've also got my Notion template, which is a life and business tracker, which I will be adding a lot more Notion charts to as, as I you know have time to do that. I hope that you guys enjoy Notion charts and I will be having a bunch more updates soon. Just wanted to throw this quick, quick video together as Notion Charts has come out today so you guys know quickly how to use it. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you guys next time.